He's actually a seven-pointer. Looks like he's missing his brow tines, but he's just a big, big seven-pointer. He's still got deer running around. Wow. Oh, man. Give me a second. That never gets off, man. It never gets off, man. He's down right there. And he ran the right direction, too, on the way out. We're like a half a mile back in the woods. One of them spots, man. I put the camera out here three weeks ago. Got lots of pictures down here. I knew they were coming. I had a good wind. Called my man Tom up. And I don't know why I'm whispering still, but because he's down right there, man. Good job, man. Oh, man. First time cameraman Tom. There he's still running around. Oh, man, let's get down and go get him. Not gonna be able to take that two inch Grim Reaper, man. Look at that knock. Still going. Come on. He's not far. Let's go get on his blood trail. Just went back to the truck to grab a couple flashlights and a light for the camera. We're gonna go in and get this deer right now. Come on, let's go. There he is. Hi. Look at that exit. Oh. One, two, three, four. Broke off. Five, six, seven. Here we are with my buck, and I couldn't be any more excited. It's early September, and it's hot. It's 81 degrees, and the mosquitoes are biting. But I had a perfect win for a stand tonight. I called my first time cameraman, Tom, and he was able to help me out. So we snuck up in the tree early, saw some does and a spike buck. Then Tom tapped him on the shoulder and said, here comes a buck. Watched him come through the laurel. He walked right to the base of the stand, and he looked up at us, and I thought it was over from there. But he was content with what he saw, thank God. He continued on and uh, gave me a perfect quarter and away shot. The old Hoyt Alpha Max and Grim Reaper combination didn't run far, 40 yards, and that's all she wrote. 